Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dean O'Lally. Today we're coming to you from, I love saying this, we're at Chillwater in Stillwater. And with this location, you can bet this is opened by an OSU grad. Chillwater started in 2014 as a brand the owner wants to appeal to all ages. It's big on outdoor activity and, of course, a lover of Stillwater. They've even teamed up with the Humane Society in town and they offer all sorts of dog items. We'll take a look around throughout the show. But first, are you ready to kick things off? Let's do it. Alrighty, how about a trip to a place that would be great for the kind of outdoor apparel that they have at this store? Jason Grubbs takes us to the Ray Harrell Nature Center in Broken Arrow. In 1984, the city of Broken Arrow saved several acres of land. Decades later, people get to enjoy the Ray Harrell Nature Center and park for free. It is absolutely free to come out to the nature park and the nature center. The park is about 40 acres, consisting of three miles of trails with six paths to choose from. The longest, about a mile. I come out here four or five times a year and I've been coming here for more than 30 years. Jay Powell remembers the area from when he was in high school. He says this is a great place to spend a few hours or a full day. Oh yeah, you could you could easily spend all day out here. Yeah, this is a nice escape into some wilderness out here. It's a pretty dense forest as you can see, so it offers a nice break from the city setting. The facility provides visitors a connection to nature, not only outside, but inside too, where you'll find lots of live creatures. We have some turtles, a tarantula, some tree frogs, some prairie lizards, and a bearded dragon. There's even an observation beehive. It's a great resource for the community to learn about bees up close and personal. Um, there's about eight different panels in here. You can see the bottom four. Over here, some plants to learn about. Different monsteras, fiddle leaf fig trees, a 30-year-old pencil cactus tree currently. Rotating displays correlate with the seasons, like bat week and turkey hunts. We even do uh, programs for toddlers, nature tots throughout the year. That's a really popular one. Uh, we always try to have something fun going on. Some of the animals that call the park home are beavers, possums, and raccoons. Uh, we always encourage people to stop by the nature center and learn about tracks. So you may not be seeing the animals, but you can be seeing the signs of the animals out here. The assortment of birds range from barred owls to red-shouldered hawks and woodpeckers, as well as seasonal migrants. Uh, I love to watch the birds, and there's a lot of interesting birds out here. And uh, I've seen deer tracks. I've not seen any deer, but I've seen sign of them, and I've seen fox tracks. The trails are paved, fresh stone, and sandy paths. Maps are on the city's website, here at the Nature Center, and around the park. Bicycles are welcomed, but nothing motorized, and it's pet friendly. We do ask that dogs remain on leashes, though. We have pet stations to help patrons clean up after their pets. The Ray Harrell Nature Center and Park, an amazing asset for Broken Arrow and our state. It, it really is. It really is, and it's so close by. It's really handy, and it's nice to have it. And Just seeing patrons have that connection to nature at any age, it's very uh, wonderful to see. And I know that it makes a lasting impression on all of our visitors. I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. The Ray Harrell Nature Center is located at 7101 South 3rd Street in Broken Arrow. The property is open 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. You know, one of the many things I love about this store is that at some point it all started with one creative idea. And if you're ready to express yourself with a little artwork of your own, I've got the perfect place for you to stop. Come with me now to Edmonds Fine Arts Institute. Edmond has long been known as a community who appreciates and supports the arts, and much of that dedication starts at the Edmond Fine Arts Institute. We are Edmond's nonprofit community arts organization, and we provide visual and performing art opportunities to people of all ages. Well, we were founded in 1985, and basically because there was a need or a lack of art that was available for children, they, didn't, they don't get art in schools until uh, fifth grade. So a group of mothers got together, they founded this organization. It is the belief of the Edmund Fine Arts Institute that everybody has creative potential. You can flex your artistic muscle here through one of their many classes offered. We are a place where people can discover, come to discover their talents, or if they already think they have a talent, kind of hone those skills. So all of our classes are from very beginner to advanced, at all ages, all abilities. We have 36 instructors. We see about 4,000 students a year, and um, every day it is bustling and busy, and 40% of our population that comes here to take classes are adults. I will um, 
leave some of that darker color. We have artists that are all professionals in their field and they have different specialties. So if you go on our website at edmundfineartscom you can click on the adult list and you will see things from jewelry making, clay, hand building with clay, pottery, oil painting classes, oil for beginners, watercolor classes, drawing classes, charcoal classes, and at every level. The Edmund Fine Arts Institute hopes to encourage an appreciation of art in young children, creating a lifelong love. Well, the younger you start the kids in the arts, the better. So um, we have classes that begin at three years old. It's our little artists from three to six year olds and several classes a week for them. We also have theater classes for children that age. For kids especially, it gives them an opportunity to think creatively and really build some problem solving skills. If you're in the area and want to explore the Institute, you can walk in anytime and view their gallery. The building is open for people to come in and view the art. Right now we have an exhibit behind us, but every month we have a new artist on display. So we would really encourage people to come in. We really want to help promote local and emerging artists, and so it give, this building gives them a place to do that. The Edmund Fine Arts Institute puts on exciting events to support the arts, and a new initiative is offering free art to anyone who's willing to take it. It's kind of like a little free book, uh, little free libraries, and except for it's art. So we have a beautiful sculpture that was commissioned by someone that looks like a gallery, and people can walk by, take a piece of art, or add a piece of art, and um, it's free. Making art accessible to the people of Edmond and beyond. Come explore and take in the beauty of the Edmond Fine Arts Institute. We really just want people to fall in love with art and have that experience whenever they're here. But that draws people together. Art starts conversations and um, it makes people feel good. And so that's what we're about. You will find Edmund Fine Arts Institute at 27 East Edwards in Edmund. They're open Monday through Friday, closed on the weekends. After a short break, we are headed to Sepulpa where things are popping. But later on Discover Oklahoma, one store in Oklahoma City that is celebrating 30 years in business. And we'll have this. I'm Leif Coldwater, and coming up next on Discover Oklahoma, I'm going to tell you all about the fun we have here at Enid Axe. That's coming up next on Discover Oklahoma. Imagine limitless possibilities with the Oklahoma Travel Guide. Imagine world-class wonderlands, road trips that inspire. Imagine date night elevated. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com. Imagine that. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma, coming to you from Chillwater, a unique shop located in Stillwater. All right, Lauren, we're going to keep the energy going with a little indoor adrenaline rush. All right, and Deanne Stein is going to take us to a place where you can get one. Let's go to Enid now and check out some axe throwing. You know, we didn't want it to be just a bucket list place where you came, you went, you never came back. So Lave Coldwater took this 7,500 square foot building and turned it into a fun house for the community. There's the pool tables. There's darts, and we actually have a pool league. We do dart league. We try to have something for everybody in here. But the main draw is axe throwing. It definitely pulls all age groups, all genres. Um, it doesn't just key on one person uh, or one type of person. Leif has seen throwers come in from ages four to 90 and at all different skill levels. What isn't better than just throwing axes and drinking beer and having fun with buddies and, and you know, just having a good time. When you come in, you will first get a quick lesson and some safety tips from a coach. Tyler helped me today. If you throw it and it bounces off the wood and it's coming back your direction, step out of the way. Axe throwing, not axe catching, doesn't really work. And don't throw it at anybody else. You wanna go straight up over your shoulder, try and point your elbow at your target and go straight forward with it. Looks easy enough. Uh, I would recommend starting at the blue line, but and then depending on how this lands, I may move you to a different <laughs> one. It's not bad. I didn't Good know. job. You okay. got out of the way. Okay. <laughs> that was terrible. Right here. A few adjustments, okay. two-handed. This should work. I went, I went above the target. <laughs> one more adjustment. Ready? And voila. Nice job. Finally. Finally and all it takes to get you hooked. 
because it's therapeutic, it's fun. Like me, it took Jennifer Taylor a few times to get the hang of it, but now she brings her niece to play. It is so fun watching little girls realize that they can do this, like they can get into it, something that boys think that they're better at. There are more than a dozen lanes, two for competitive play and the rest equipped with targets called cookies, an in-cut slab of a log. The difference is when you throw it a cookie, you can throw it any which direction and it's going to stick. It's in-cut, so it's like throwing in a broom bristle. Any, any way that you throw at it, it's going to stick. Leif gets the cookies cut from locals Mark and Melissa McCauley. It's rewarding to see the results, you know, people enjoying themselves while helping their business. And then now there's all these axe shops opening everywhere and we've got people coming from Perry and Kansas and everywhere to come buy our wood. You know, we love promoting everybody that's helped us along the way. And why you'll see gifts and food available to buy from local vendors. Even the decor itself was done by local businesses. And so being able to help sponsor all these people um, and help them win too, is one of the greatest joys of this whole thing. We'll come in here and just talk or or uh, come up here, play darts. We come up here to hang out. It's it's more of a hangout than it is just access. We want it to be a fun house. Yeah, we do leave, but this is a fun-centric place. A place he wants his visitors to call home. In Enid, I'm Deanne Stein for Discover Oklahoma. You'll find Enid Axe at 104 North Independence in Enid. They're open seven days a week. Check their website, enidaxe.com, for more details. Now, we know the holidays just passed, but really, is there a bad time of year to be cooking and baking treats? I don't think so. Me neither. <laughs> it's, it's a year-round thing, but right now, we're going to kick things up a notch. Actually, we're going to pop things up quite a bit. We're going to go to Gigi's Gourmet Popcorn in Sepulpa. Just look at it. The delectable kernels have popped alive with a zest that is hard to resist. Can't you just smell it already? Some call it the perfect snack. For others, it's always a fun snack. So guess what? Fun is what you will have when you walk into Gigi's Gourmet Popcorn in Sepulpa. Now this is not just regular old popcorn though. It's gourmet popcorn because we, we customize it and make it. You want flavors? They have flavors, all kinds of variations and combinations. It all starts with the precious kernels. And then uh, depending on what oil we use, what salt we use, that determines whether it'll be the white popcorn or the buttery popcorn. And there we, we take it, we can either make um, candy out of it, or the, the fruit flavors, we can caramelize it, and then if we do some of that and then we have to drizzle it, that takes another step. And all of that is done by hand. So it's a pretty labor intense process sometimes. Johnny says as long as he can get a spice for it, he can make it. And Johnny and wife Julie love to give samples. I want them to be happy when they leave. I don't want them to buy something and get out the door and taste it and not like it. Oh, fudge. Wait, what else can you get at Gigi's Gourmet Popcorn and sample too? For fudge, of course. Johnny's wife Julie makes that, by the way. I am Gigi. It's a name her grandson gave her years ago, and it stuck. But she is the all-knowing soothsayer of all the fudge, and you will have even more flavors from which to choose, usually around 15 to 16, in fact. We have your traditional chocolate, chocolate pecan, maple nut, butter pecan, divinity, and um, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and come up with an idea. But I try to come up with different ideas for the seasons and they just kind of come off the top of my head. As the late night infomercials say, wait, there's more. At Gigi's Gourmet Popcorn, you can find nostalgic sodas, jerky, gummies and candy, lots and lots of candy. Big League candy, the kind that will make you go gaga or goo goo for clusters. Popular candies are chocolate malt balls, chocolate covered gummy bears, sour candies, Charleston Chews, and the Big Hunks. Incredibly cool. I mean, to be able to walk in to a historic building in downtown and see all the you know, candy selection and the popcorn's amazing. And then just be able to see, you know, some of the candy that I grew up with as a kid um, and be able to share that with, with my kids is, is pretty cool. Just to walk down memory lane. Geeky's is probably one of my very favorite places in Sepulpa. I mean, there's just not very many places in any town that you can come and kind of step back in time like this with uh, whether it be the gourmet popcorn or the fudge or the candy that you get out of a, a jar. So there's something very special about stepping through the door in a Geeky's. 
And don't forget for your convenience, Gigi's can get you fixed up with different kinds of gift baskets and boxes. Pop into Gigi's anytime for a wonderfully fun, nostalgic, and sweet experience. You'll find Gigi's at 12 East Dewey in Sepulpa, and you can also shop online at gigi'spopcorn.com. You getting hungry? Well, don't go away because a little later we will take you to a diner serving up home-cooked meals at a crossroads, literally, but it's also right off of Route 66. And next, a legendary destination in Oklahoma City that's been serving up wonderful merchandise and impeccable service to customers for 30 years. All that when Discover Oklahoma returns right after this short break. There's some things you just can't contain. Oklahoma Today magazine is bursting with culture. Mind-blowing restaurants, trips, adventures, and so much more. Open your copy, then hit the open road. Unleash your curiosity. Set your spirit free. Subscribe today for only $14.95. Oklahoma Today magazine. Break through the ordinary. Imagine limitless possibilities with the Oklahoma Travel Guide. Imagine world-class wonderlands, road trips that inspire. Imagine date night elevated. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com. Imagine that. Welcome back to Discover Oklahoma. We're having a great time checking out all the fun stuff here at Chillwater. Our state is full of locally owned shops, much like this one. And we say it often because it's so important. Please always try to shop local if you can. And right now, Dan Stein is going to show us a place where you can do just that. The Painted Door in Oklahoma City. 2021 is a milestone year for Avis Scaramucci. It's pretty darn amazing. Yes, ma'am. She celebrates 30 years in business at her Painted Door. That's a long time, you know. I had never been in retail, ever, not even as a clerk in a store. So it was a brand new adventure. Her retail adventure started on Oklahoma City's South Side until 2005 when she moved her store to Bricktown to expand her customer base. And the idea of getting to see and meet and take good care of people from everywhere just really intrigued me. Visitors to downtown shop along with her faithful locals like Kathy Markham. I'm a true customer. <laughs> I love everything and I get my earrings, my clothes, my boots everything I get from here. And you can get just about anything here. Avis goes to multiple markets to bring back a collection in all different price ranges for any age. She also makes sure to pick up products that feature Oklahoma. One of the funnest things that we have discovered in a while, and it is truly exclusive for us, is an artist that has uh, decided that she is in love with Oklahoma City and she's done some great artwork for us. The one-of-a-kind note cards depict several different Oklahoma City districts and sell as postcards. There is also a selection of Oklahoma-inspired tea towels, pillows, mugs, and books. There's even a section dedicated to the kitchen with a wide variety of kitchenware, books, and Made in Oklahoma products. Two notables in there that are both made in Oklahoma is um, pickles. Uh, we have our sand plum jelly. Visitors love it. They love to buy something from Oklahoma, you know, and what better thing than something to eat. The clothing lines fit any occasion, from after five to casual dresses and sweaters. You have to change as fashion changes, and it changes just about all the time. Avis recently added an infants and toddler section and the popular Thomas Blonde candles. She also brought back her beloved Lady Primrose, an elegant line of beauty products and candles. She even offers complimentary scented gift wrapping with any purchase. I cannot think of a single thing that I would rather be doing than what I'm doing. And for Avis, that means taking good care of every customer who steps into her store. Discovering Oklahoma in Oklahoma City, I'm Deanne Stein. The Painted Door is located in the heart of Oklahoma City's Bricktown District at 12 East Sheridan. You'll also want to check out their website, PaintedDoor.com. Stay with us, and after a quick break, we'll be back to tell you not only about the tasty food at Crossroads Diner in Bristow, but all the different ways you can actually get there. That's coming up next on Discover Oklahoma. We kept hope alive, endured a long year. The time to explore Oklahoma is finally here. Oklahoma is open. From salt plains to hilltops, 
More miles of Route 66 with all its iconic stops. For fishing and hiking and restaurants galore, drive a ball down a fairway, relax by the shore. So if you're ready to jump out or step out real slow, Oklahoma is waiting. Okay, here we go. We've had a great time today doing a little shopping here at Chillwater in Stillwater. And you know what time it is? It's time to talk about food. My favorite subject. Me too. So let's go with Jay Scrubs to Bristol. We're going to check out Crossroads Diner. Seven days a week from 6.30 to 2, you can get a hot, home-style cooked meal from Tony Powell's restaurant in Bristow, the Crossroads Diner. I try to bring good memories and good food together. You'll find it right off of Old Route 66. No matter what direction you're coming from, there's plenty of ways to get here. 66, 16, 48, I-44, railroad tracks. Sometimes two, three times a week. Regular Carol Matting likes the grilled chicken and hamburgers, especially the mushroom burger. It's good. I don't know what they saute those mushrooms in, but it's really, really tasty. Her husband goes for the catfish. That's what I had, and it was fantastic. The catfish is excellent. It's real crunchy on the outside and tender on the inside, and it just has a good flavor. Tony uses a top feeding breed of catfish for his fillets. The seasonings, homemade, like everything else on the menu. We have a light breading on our catfish, it's our only recipe. I have a bacon omelet, English muffin, and uh, tomatoes. Every day. Every day. Ask any of the regulars and they'll tell you what to order. From short stacks to steaks, homemade chili to chicken. The Crossroads menu is a collection of recipes. I have different cooks here and there, old recipes from family members. Six days a week, you can go with a special, starting with chicken fried steak on Mondays. With a side order of potatoes, your choice of veggie and Texas toast. On Tuesdays, we have uh, chicken strips. Food's great, yeah. Uh, wife, is, she loves Kathy's meatloaf. Wednesday is waitress Kathy Lewis's meatloaf with a couple of sides. Uh, mashed potatoes and gravy, usually green beans, Texas toast for $6.99. Thursdays, we do steak finger basket with fries or mashed potatoes and Texas toast for $6.99. Fridays are burger baskets. No specials on Saturdays, and Sundays are also up to Kathy. Sundays are random, depending on what I feel like cooking. <laughs> A big seller on Sunday is the roast beef dinner. They'll cook up to 20 pounds of meat that day. So they put out a good meal, very good meal. If you've got room for dessert, there is plenty to choose from. Now, the flavors of cakes and pies change from day to day, but one thing's for sure, they're going to be big. Take a look at the size of this. I'm taking home part of my pie because I couldn't eat it. it. It's just huge. I have coconut, lemon, blueberry, blackberry. Kathy makes all my pies for me. She's really good at it. She makes fantastic cakes, too. Just off the top of my head and the tips of my fingers. The Crossroads Diner, a good old family restaurant serving up good old home-style cooking. Come ready to eat. Yeah, you need to be hungry. If you go away hungry, that's your fault. Off Route 66 in Bristow, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Crossroads Diner is open 6.30 a.m. until 2 o'clock, seven days a week. You'll find them at 120 West 12th in Bristow. And no matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, travelok.com, and click Request Free Brochures to get your copy. A big thank you to the fine folks here at Chillwater for hosting us this week. You'll want to make the drive to Stillwater to check out this charming shop. You'll find them at 132 North Main Street in Stillwater or check them out online at chillwaterapparel.com. And coming up next week on Discover Oklahoma, golf year-round, no matter the weather, we'll show you where you can hit the links virtually. And fried chicken like Grandma used to make. We head to this mouth-watering spot in Tulsa. That's next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.